are back with another jump off TV debate. Now this week we have some new faces in the mix. Alright, so I take it everyone saw the Jules Holland performance with Stormzy. He rocked up fresh from the mobos in his tracksuit, his Adidas tracksuit. So should urban artists should urban artists when they get opportunities outside of the urban world, should they adapt? What do we think? No, no, not, not at the beginning of their before, career. Before One we, person at a time. Before we discuss anything, can we take out the word urban? Because yeah, yeah, as please. the One Extra poll has shown, as Ed Sheeran topping the Black Music Urban poll, you can't use that word anymore. It doesn't mean anything to me. The word urban, when you associate it with an artist, now in the UK, I don't feel holds any relevance. It should just be, should an artist? I don't, I, I just don't think the word what urban in my genre? Should a grime artist, should a hip hop artist, artist, should an R&B yeah. artist? Yeah. Uh, the artist. word urban artist. But the like answer that. to it is no. No one Especially urban. in the early stages of their career. Why should someone have to change? Stage of their career, like, like dress how you want. Like you should never feel as though, I, I think the issue is, and, and, <laughs> the issue is not when Stormzy didn't do this because he just performed, but like, when, when grime artists or hip hop artists get interviewed, sometimes they have, they get patronized by these um, hosts. Like they get patronized to say something stupid and something ignorant. So I think it's very important to come on your A game and try and articulate yourself well enough that you don't get mugged off. Yeah. But as far as how you present yourself, yeah, you know, yeah. dress how the fuck yeah. you want. You know what the greatest thing about that was though? Uh, earlier in the day, he done freestyles with a wicked skeng man hat, innit? It's like that goggle hat that you wear when you pull down. And he tweeted to all of his followers that, yo, I've been doing the videos with that hat on. I'm going on mainstream BBC Two television and I'm still going to wear that hat and represent like I have been in my videos. So that just shows for me that he's a true representative of what he believes in. If he wants to go on with a suit, with a live band and change his whole perception, that would be dumb. Okay, I don't think people should ever change their appearance for anything. I think we're super conservative in Britain. We make too many judgments based on the way people um, decide to project themselves, I think it's bullshit to be honest. I think if you are somebody that wants to do this purely for financial gain, then yeah, make the business move and dress in a way that you think is gonna attract the, the middle class of England. If you're somebody that doesn't want that and somebody who's doing it for the love and for the music, still still, still, still to try and, 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 and gain a living off of it because I think it's a massive myth to think that the only people that ever actually gain a living are the people who basically sell out and, and, and make music that they're not passionate about. I think, big up, to, big up to Stormzy for doing that because if you are, um, if you're serious about your music and you're serious about getting it and you're serious about hitting a, your, your own fan base and, 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 and having them rock with you regardless of what you do, then you can't change. You have to do what you do. You have to do what targeted that fan base in the first point, in the first place. Right. Right. What, 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 what do you think? think? What do you think? Me, yeah. it, it's his opportunity to get to reach a new audience that necessarily aren't already in that category okay. of, unless that this is a new, new, completely new platform for him and people like my mum will watch it or my auntie or, and they, they might see, oh, there's a rapper on thingy and it's his, his chance to, to prove them wrong, the, a stereotype yeah, yeah. or, and if you go up in a tracksuit talking about you're gonna rob, I love the song myself, but if, you, if you're if you gonna go on Jules Holland and talk about robbing people and selling drugs and that, you're not gonna ever get to that next level. Why people like Tiny Temper Professor Green have done so well, is yeah. they oh, adapt. Get them, Ding, 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 get them, Team Snips, yeah? Yeah, we'll Let me get real quick, listen, Let me get real quick, listen. No, wait, 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 First of all, yeah, Stormzy's love for his music. Whether he gets more fans is a, a testimony of where they promote him. By the end of the day, if we do a music, you ain't gonna ask Bob Marley to tie back his, his dreads. You ain't gonna ask no country westernized to take off their cowboy hat and their cowboy boots. So why do we, yeah, as the urban, which is the word we're not supposed to use, as the urban group, have to change anything about us? If we come from the streets, and in the streets they're selling drugs. You know, we're gonna keep talking about it, that's our environment. We're never gonna change for no one. Change Anybody that. who changes you is a sellout. You, you, you don't have to change that. You don't have to change that. But you need to accept then that you're only ever gonna to get to a certain level because yeah. what you're doing is playing in exactly to how the mainstream media yeah. that's wants right. to paint us. Right. Right. You're playing in exactly to how the mainstream media wants to paint us. Right. That's right. The mainstream media right. wants to paint us. Right. Of course, it's the truth. They want to paint you as as Stormzy's being black. They want to paint you as being black, being ghetto, 
selling drugs, being scruffy, wearing tracksuits, that's fine, but you just have to understand that when he goes on a programme like Jules Holland, dressed like that, with, with that kind of attire, he's only ever going to get to a certain level, and that's not my opinion on it, that's just fact. He's not going to progress. I don't it, no. My humble opinion, any artist that is in within any genre of music who is in uh, the, the umbrella of an industry needs to be able to evolve and adapt to elevate themselves to the level that they wish to reach. Now, that's not to say that, you know, I would expect Stormzy to go on Jules Holland wearing a suit and, you know, doing a completely irrelevant song to what is his core base and what is himself. But all I'm saying is it's very early stages in terms of, you know, us seeing him on the TV and, and his progression in terms of everybody else seeing who he is outside of his core base that already knows who he is. So at this stage, He's stuck to being himself. I understand that. No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. Wait, wait, wait. You go first. 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 Yeah, right. Basically, like, what the reason why I'm saying I'm saying like, do whatever's good for business, right? If it's an opportunity for you to get to a different audience, like he said. So here's the thing: that audience in their mind, Jews, Hollers, audiences, they've got a stereotype in their mind that like, if they see someone dressed in a taxi, whatever. Already, I'm closed off. I don't want to hear what this guy's got to say. Yeah. You feel me? But you see those people, you see those type of people, I want them as my fans. But here's what? the thing though, man. Why, but why, 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 why is it going on Jules Holland? No, but it's not about you changing. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, you're getting exposed to those people. But it's a thing where like you don't have to change. In the end, everybody dresses different. If you're selling, if you're making pee, like whatever, you see dudes in suits, you see dudes dressed however. You could be making stereotypical. Yeah, but you have to on a suit yeah. and you can wait, go in court. Wait, what all I'm saying, I'm saying is, is, all I'm saying, wait, what's happening? Let me get, let me get at what you said. You're, you're talking about good for business. Whose business? Your business. No, the business. corporate business. Yeah, what's good for no, 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 no. What's good for your business, business is what your fans yeah. are. Your fans dress in track yeah, They love you, you for wearing track Do you not want to go and get new fans? Yeah. Huh? Do you want to? Do you not want to go and get new fans? I don't want to get new fans. So, so you want to stay down there because no, no, I want you to get to progress. Fam, let me say, history is not for everyone. The history of Jules Holland. Yeah. Hip hop ain't for everybody. Yeah. And gram ain't for everybody. It's for us to make money off our own. And who, where we come okay, from. Okay, so, so at the end of the day, if somebody says to you, ah, oh, now we want to show you to the rest of the world, so show me how I am. If they don't like me, fuck it. If something like Jules Holland is um, is a Brucey bonus that they can just add on to their CV and add on to their career, then you know what, keep doing what you're doing. But if, it, if, this, if this is your big break and if this is your opportunity to to reach a wider audience and to make new fans, then maybe you've got a kind of a not a, a, just adapt you haven't got to change but you've just got to adapt to like jay-z woods or like diddy wood or you go like jay-z will turn up on jonathan ross slightly different i don't get it don't uh, don't miss that i love stormzy and i love i love his record but i think if if he wanted to really make new fans that might not have been the way to do it and I it's not necessarily just the tracksuit i think it's it's a lot to do with a song choice, and he, he could, if he went on there with a band, he probably would have got a better reception. So, who who do you think then is the most, in terms of sales, who is the most successful hip hop, urban, grime artist from the UK? Tiny Tempo or Dizzy Rascal. Okay, okay. So that's success. So when they went on Jules Holland in the beginning, let me say what Dizzy done. Yeah, Dizzy went on the first time and he wore his jean jacket. He wore his new era hat. But then when he went on again to do Bonkers and he done other songs, he changed his style. Why? He, he, he but when I mean he was change, making bonkers. When I mean change his style, when he, he was making a boy in the corner, and he was on point. When he was making boy in the corner, he had his, his uh, daredevil yeah. um, track yeah, yeah, or whatever. He adapted. That's he was saying. making money. Well, what, what, al what album but got, got the Mercury? Yeah, but the Mercury. Well, what album got the Mercury? The Mercury is for new artists. No, no, but what album got oh, the Mercury? Hold on, hold on. But don't you want the only one who could have got one? Don't you want an artist to evolve and grow? It's not, it, it's not necessarily so about, oh, he still wears his snapback and all them things. Yeah, of course. Did he not go through the, 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 um, the, the, the shirt the and button up? Like, did he yes. bring that swag in for like a whole hot minute? It's, it's about Jay-Z, didn't you do that? Okay, did so that? Solid Crew went on Jules Holland as well. Mega yeah. Man came on with a bandana on his head and an era hat on top as well. That's right. Did they, did, exactly, did they elevate anywhere? Of course they did, they got oh, in you're, platinum. You're, you're talking about, a, firstly, they, they sold a lot more records than most crime artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secondly, you're talking about an era where the, the music industry was totally different yeah, yeah. For, for urban artists to sell records. If you look at the most of the artists with the most longevity, they didn't go to the suburbs, they brought the suburbs to the hood. 
that's the artist with the most song. The most song you ever hear. Because what you got to understand is, like, first of all, no disrespect, you said you know you're like your mum or your auntie. Like, yeah. your mum or your auntie are never going to buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they might, might, buy, they might buy a Dizzy Rascal album. But what I'm they saying is, buy it. But, 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 but there's still a very small minority of people that are out there buying young people music. You know the people that are buying it are 13 year old but girls. Snips, girls. No, but and snips, you know what? They want to see Storms in the tracks. They don't want to see them in the Let me jump in. Personally, I wasn't really offended by Stormzy wearing a tracksuit on Jules Holland. I was just being devil's advocate. But I do think when urban artists get a, um, opportunities to branch out from you, the general, just going, you know, going to your general gigs, your unis, when you wear a tracksuit, you're going out on the street and doing your daily duties. Was he kind of weighing that at the same scale as going to Jules Holland? So you have to think about it like that. No, you see what you just said about no, the to your guys? They, they're not, hold on, hold on. They're not working. Where are they getting that money from? Who cares? No, 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 that's what I'm saying. They can block. All I'm yet. saying is that like, those are the people that's fine. You ain't going to no gigs. So, at the end of the day, if they, if they want to block, they can block you. This is music. Yeah, you can't feel it. It's a business. It's a business. No, yeah, it's your business. If you're doing Listen it, it's a passion. If I do a business, yeah, if I make a brand, which I have already, and I say to myself, I can go on Top Man, make 30k a month. Or I can have a 10 year longevity dealing with the people I deal with who really care about my brand. Okay. Now what am I going to do? We, we should be able to go to these new platforms and bring ourselves and at the same time carry ourselves respectfully like how our mums grew us up, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I don't think you should change to suit a different audience because your audience is your audience and that's the people that are going to feed your play. That's how you're going to look after your family. The moment that you try and do something else and go outside of that, your inner essence being fake. So I give two thumbs up to Stormzy for doing the right thing. Go there and attract you. That's Graham. I grew up on Graham and I think that was the, the most perfect thing to do. Stay down there. Stay down there. It depends what you're going to do. Which one? Ten year long journey? Yeah. Because you love. You want to grow. You want to grow. You're a product. I understand what you're saying. And perhaps there's certain. Yeah, but everyone's got different business motivations. You're going by. Who's standard are you going by? You're going by yours and I'm going by mine. The Everybody have that. It depends what your yeah. motivation is. Yeah. Somebody's motivation might be to get their mum out of out of a certain place that yeah. they're living, elevate their family, take care of all their relatives, send money abroad, bring all those people over, buy their family nice things. So for you to Another do that, person, you need to go make that 30k. What are you gonna do? Look, look what he's saying to me. You're saying you basically, do. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, set out I'm for money. No, no, I'm saying that. It's if not if about you have those responsibilities, it ain't set out. I don't know what it is. It comes down to individual preference. Dressing. That's what it comes down to. You're saying that's what it comes down to. Listen to what I'm saying to you, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question, yeah? yeah? See all those responsibilities that she said, yeah? yeah. Imagine you had that, those responsibilities on we your back. That. On your back, yeah? yeah. You, yeah. right? And for you to be able to support all yeah. of that, you have to go do the 30k thing. No, no, no. That's the that's problem, what you do. I'm that's the problem with the industry now. Look at Skepta fucking want a mobile in a tracksuit. Skepta's probably making more waves than, than, than any, and I hate the term urban artist, but he's doing it because that's why people fucking skept up. Like, and this idea that you've got to attract this, you know, this white middle class from, from the middle of nowhere, 13 year old white girls from wherever the fuck, they fuck with Skepta because he wears a tracksuit. They're not gonna fuck with him if he wears a suit. That's what, people, people love what London does. They love what, 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 what street music is. They gravitate towards it. So trying to flip it up and, and become something you're not is only going to alienate what essentially attracted the people to you in the first place. Your because question. we won't no, cultivate no, no, our thing. Saying, Rockefeller was cultivation our thing. My team, I'm asking since, you a question. It was Rockefeller. Listen, listen what, you, what you are getting is that Nobody needs to be that excessive. When people are like, oh, but you have to do it for the money. No, you don't need to become a multi-millionaire. If, if you're passionate about your music, you can make a substantial living without selling out. Yeah. And you're talking about the concept of selling out. I'm sorry, but that's, make that's a what? substantial living without selling out. Not for a long oh, period no, of time. No, what, about? what do you call a substantial living? Low, low key, what? He's not making a substantial no, living. but when he dropped his album, did he? When, when he done it fully independent, but, but he made a lot of money, bro. But he made a lot of money doing that. There are examples. 
You did. You people talk, talk about say um, Pitbull sold out. He did. Yeah. 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 People talk about Jay Z sold out. out. That's factual. Jay Z sold out. As long as you don't compromise your brand, or compromise yourself, then you're good. If you feel comfortable with compromising yourself, like if that's gonna get you to where you need to go, then do what you need to do. It is what it is. Like it's just about a personal thing. So, in respects of what he did, rocking his tracks or whatever. He did his thing, like, and he represented himself, like, so I ain't got no problems with that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so what? yeah people say all them motherfuckers. But is there an element of him bringing it? But they musically sell those people, though. Like, okay. they musically sell People can say he sold his soul business wise, but yeah. as far That's as music, Jay Z didn't really but sell people, out. People can say all those people sold out, but they're still successful. It boils down to what she said about the individual target. Yeah, if your target is. But your target. Tell them Wu Tang. Please, someone say Wu Tang. So much money, yeah. It's not that period anymore. It's not that era. No, it's not that era. No, it's not that era. It's not that era. Yeah, when they started yeah, yeah. Their motivation and everything the industry when Wu-Tang started no no it it's the different. same when you're starting when, when you're starting something like Graham Graham's been running for about 10 years yeah 10 I'll give you 12 years 12. yeah 12 years that's how long Graham's been running for now if you look at how long hip hop's been running for people like Wu-Tang have never changed their music they tour everywhere now if you look at someone who did sell out different like age, like Chingy where's Chingy Okay Chingy. yeah go on <laughs> down the drain. No no keep naming more people Chingy sold out how did Chingy sold out What is Chingy's making some music his music will always was that hip hop Yeah Dude. but it doesn't matter if it always was the same So how how did he sell out purely made to sell records and make them money. I don't think you can compare. I don't think you can compare. Okay, because you know, in the UK, the scene is so strong within the UK. But pushing it out as much as we want to doesn't get the same light and shine that American artists and the American hip hop scene does across the world. So it's so it's quite niche. You have to admit. So if you're if you're keeping it real in the UK, in in the niche, okay, keeping it real in that American hip hop niche. It's just not. All right, can I just say, yeah, has anybody seen yeah, this is a mad old it. clip of Public Enemy going on Soul Train for the very first time? I watched the Stormzy thing and I, I compared it in my head, innit? And when the presenter of Soul Train came out to kind of take the piss out of these new guys who are Public Enemy, yeah. Chuck B, Flavor Flav, it was, it was like he was taking the piss oh, out of them. Yeah, yeah. But they kept it so real, yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah. That, that's all they are. That's all they have to represent yeah, to themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all Stormzy can do at this stage. He's got people yeah, liking Enemy, what he does, bro. Public Enemy had a different message to Stormzy. Like it's a very yeah, different, was, it's yeah, a yeah, very yeah, different I'm thing. Saying, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, from the underground yeah, yeah. are loving them and they're going on to mainstream television. If they were to change what they would do, would they not lose credibility? Stormzy going on Jules Holland, obviously, Within history, it's shown that urban artists, urban artists can go and do that. We had Dizzy Rascal, Roots Maneuver, Miss Dynamite, So Solid Crew, um, Tiny Temper, everyone go on there, right? So this is Stormzy's time now to go and do it. Should he have changed how he was dressed in order to go and do that? Absolutely not. For what he represents, him going out of his way on Twitter and saying, yo, I'm going to wear the Wicked Skangman hat freestyle live on mainstream British television. That Who else is going to do that? No one else is able to do that what he represents is what and truly he is so him not changing what he's done is only better for himself the scene the culture and everyone yeah, yeah but like, at that time, that's no, all you've got in there. Like, no, you don't want to lose your credibility right in there. What you're saying is that at that time, it was different though. It was like a, Listen, it was I like a proper message. My core fans used to be good. whatever I am. Now, I can't be like some other fans I don't know. So I can't look over there and say, oh, those are the people who wear suits. So I'm going to wear a suit to accommodate for them. And they never check me. I'm not saying that he should have gone on there in a suit. You'll never change anyone's opinion. You like exactly to come as well. No, but you've got to play the game to change the game. You have to You have to drip feed people. You have to, you have to, like, you know, I'll hold it down. I'll hold it down. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z's played the game. Nah, Jay Z's played the game. Jay Z goes on Jonathan Ross. Nah, listen, listen. Why is that the wrong one? Why is that the wrong one? Joe Jay Cole said I made one song here and it and it came natural to the first time when he did the first album, he said I let Nas down. No, what did he say to you? Listen, okay, his first commercial album. When you go back to the come up and the warm up and you compare that to Paul Sinner, you can't say that that is the same artist. He even spits. No, but it's mixtape album. We're always gonna do that. No, but 
no, 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 Staying at that that image perhaps will only take you to a certain level because your core fans will always be your core fans But if you want to target different audiences, you have to try and tap into you know what it is that appeals to them If you don't want to target different audiences, then it's fine You know if you're happy with your core fan base and you're happy to stay at a certain level that that, that fan base will keep you at And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think it's good to stick to yourself be true I definitely think that there's ways of evolving and adapting whilst still keeping the core of who you are but just working smartly with it and playing the game to win the game you have to be in the game you have to be able to play it and manipulate it to suit your purpose if you completely step outside the game then it is it's very hard for you to to evolve okay. I'm not saying that you sold out I'm saying that his but direction but his direction has had to change he can't, he can't Where's give the music that's for me for me he said that he's wearing a suit for me that's what I was saying to him about allowing me to say no difference but we know that he's changed you know that he's evolved music is telling me he should have wore something different we're not talking about Storms music we're talking about what he's wearing but it's connected listen and and his music is connected to evolve. Because yeah. that's who he is. Music that's artists will evolve. Yeah. Musicians will evolve. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. We're all just shouting, man. Um, artists will evolve. That's normal. You're supposed to evolve. People grow as human beings. They evolve. Yeah. It depends on what you're evolving. If you're evolving because it's a natural progression for you, yeah. or you're evolving because there's an ulterior motive as to what you want out of it. If your ulterior motive is purely financial, yeah. and that's why you've evolved, yeah. you're going to go down the wrong path, and you're not going to come back. From yeah. It. If you're evolving yeah. just because you're growing, like Nas has always evolved. Nas has been an artist who's never really sold out like that. You know, he made them. Evolved. He grew but up. Some people can say, "No, he's just made some clangers." He's made a couple of clangers, but, like but as a whole, he's not just a liar. But the point is, get back to the basics. The point is, he went on the show with a tracksuit. Who has a problem with that on his table? No one. Me? No. No, no, no. I haven't got a problem with a tracksuit. You've got a problem with you. He should have changed his. Approach. What it was like, I think you should have gone on there with a, um, a song that kind of let people in a little bit more that's rather than going. On. I hear yeah, what you're saying, what but that's saying. not. I get what he's saying. Performing a new record, I, I get and what he's saying. Winning over the fans that like are already there. Bit, so you don't no, have to get, get what he's saying. Because he's kind of saying, like, basically, like, you got your. Hardcore record on Jonathan Love. Yes. Yeah, but it's not commercially viable. But it I, is, I get what you're saying. It's commercially true. viable. But I get what you're saying. It's not like, he's, saying like, he's got his core fans already. Like, you love his music like from where it is. So you got he's got that platform to reach a completely different audience. His audience probably don't even watch you Holland. So you got a completely new audience, so why not pick something else from his catalog? <laughs> nah. They like nah. it anyway. I guarantee you. He kept they it like real, he wore the hat. That's what he does. still like his music though. The debates are filmed before a live audience at Bloomsbury Bowling Lanes on Thursdays at 9pm. If you are interested in being in the audience, please email info at jumpoff.tv.